It wasn't recording. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> you want me to say all that shit over here? All right. What's going on guys? We're at uh, Johnny's uh, Hot Dog Shack. We got two dogs. We're gonna do um, a series today by request. And uh, yeah, we're gonna do one plain hot this dog. This is ranked one of the top 10 best hot dog places in New Jersey. Yep, top 10. So, um, yep, by the way, they were very nice on the inside. Very kind, very, very clean, helpful. Clean hot dog shack. It smelled good. So, what do we got here? And, and we got, we got um, three hot dogs. We have, uh, is this the, no, I'll hold it this one's the plane. Looks good, you wanna try it out? Yeah. All right, look, real quick, get, get a close up on this hot dog. All right, so the first thing I realize is that it looks, it looks drunk. So, I'm telling you right now, this is a good, it's not dry at all. No, it's not. Now look, it may not be the most appetizing dog. I mean, it looks like it, but it's delicious. Now, this versus Deetson Watson. This versus Deetson Watson, mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I'm not I'm not doing compares. I'm doing compares of shops. So the first stop of a plain hot dog. You gotta just try the hot I've dog. I've never had a plain hot dog be so tasty before. Mm-hmm, it's hot. Mm -hmm. This this hot dog is delicious. Mm -hmm. No, nah, which one's this? Is this the Route 80 or the original? I don't know. This one's the Route 80. And onions, relish, a pickle. Ketchup and mustard, all in the dog. This is the Route 80. All right, Route 80. Delicious. Oh my God. I'm sorry. We'll beep that out. What, what about? Tell me about it. How good is it? What's What's so good about it? Need another bite? Yeah. All right, listen, I'll explain this. Great thing about this dog is you actually, the hot dog itself is phenomenal. I'm a pickle lover. Not only do you have relish, but you got that solid crunch of the big pickle, plus the onions on it. You got that crunch factor. You got that flavor. And I hate, hate, hate ketchup on a But guess what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. It's good. You know what it is? Huh. You can tell that they made this relish in house. That pickle and that relish are one in the same almost. She's saying that this is a top 10 spot in Jersey for a hot dog. Mm hmm. No. They are also famous for their Burt's beer. This spot, I'm telling you right now. Is a winner so far? This spot's a winner. If you're in Jersey, you gotta stop and get Johnny's hot dogs. They're quick, they're fast, but they are cash only. So you have to make sure you have cash, but we got three hot dogs, two drinks, and a, a novelty shot glass for $12. All right, right here. This it's is the original. This is the original. Onions, mustard, pickle, no fuss, no muss. Exactly. And all in all, their toppings are simple. But because the hot dog is as tasty as it is, it's like exceptional. I'm, I'm telling you right now. 
Now, my point system may be off a little bit because I am already hungry, but I think even if I was full, you can always find a bite for Johnny hot dogs. Yeah. That and known for their bird spirit, you can't you can't go wrong. I can the quality for the price and the availability of it all no no questions asked you order food's there period And they are looking good. They feel warm and pillowy. Uh, can I get the steam action on there? Looking good. All right. They don't fry their hot dogs here like they did at a, at Johnny's. So they look cool and they're, and they're thicker. It's a thicker hot dog. That's a big dog. Yeah, it's a big dog. This dog is tough to compare to Johnny's. Mm -hmm. Johnny's was fried in peanut oil. Mm -hmm. Anything fried is tough to compete with. <laughs> but with this hot dog right here, the casing, it, it's got more snap to it. Mm -hmm. And I, I really like that, the, the whole crunch factor. The hot dog itself, it's very flavorful. And uh, I'm gonna even say that the roll is more steamed than Johnny's. It is, yeah. And I'm gonna say that, that it, it's very tough. But, it's a really, really good hot dog. We have another hot dog on the list. Right here. This one's the works. It has onions, pickles, and mustard on it. The works. Good. I really like it. That's a good dog. I like the presence of the mustard on this dog. I like the crunch of the onions. And I like the salty brininess of their pickle. I like I like that it's a sliced pickle. It gets a full thin sliced pickle. I like this. And the difference between Alex and I is he's a pickle guy. I'm not really a pickle person. So this is how I would do pickle on a dog. Sauerkraut, onion, and mustard. Look at that steam, too. You know, the, the biggest thing with hot dogs is sometimes you go to a hot dog joint and it's cold. Mm -hmm. you, you're not getting that here. It's just like I said, that big hot dog. It's a big dog. It never loses its flavor amongst all the condiments, mm. which sometimes with hot dogs seems to be an easy thing. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Alex, you, gotta be, you have to have a monster bite on that one. I have to have a monster bite? You have to have a monster bite on that one. I like that it's spicy. Mm -hmm. To me personally, hot dogs should not have chili on it. But for somebody that doesn't like chili hot dogs, it's pretty good. And, it, and they can get away with it though. And let me tell you, a hot rod's right here right now. They get away with it because the hot dog is larger. Here's where Alex and I have to differ. I love chili dogs. And this chili dog, sometimes a lot of people, they hide behind a lot of meat on their chili and they just kind of slop it on a dog. Like this is like a really flavorful, like chili sauce. Like if you ever had chili sauce in Wendy's, it's like they cook your chili in a bunch of Wendy's chili sauce, which is a household favorite right? where we're at. So that's a, that's a, huge compliment and it's spicy and it's like it's hot but it's not like you can't eat it you want to eat it like you like chasing the spice of it i love the amount of onions on here i love the mustard on here hands down my favorite dog uh, hot rods hot dogs in glenn gardeners new jersey and i have to say if you are a fan of like real big beef franks this is the place for you I do recommend that you come here if you like chili dogs. So their chili dog was very good. It didn't even need cheese. 
it was spicy and like the onions were delicious. I liked the mustard on it. I would come here again just for the chili dog. With hot rods hot dog is that you had the natural crunch of the hot dog. You didn't have, it didn't need to be fried to have a crunch to it. And it was like a natural German style hot dog. It's gorgeous here. Clinton, New Jersey. By the way, this place, as I'll, I'll show you guys in the thing, the menu, any custom dog that you want. I mean, it's it's actually been. All right, right here, right off the bat. Look at that roll. Oh, look at the look at the color of that dog. See, this looks like a juicy dog. It's not fried like Johnny's. Let's give it a shot. This is the best overall hot dog I think I had yet. Mm -hmm. The skin is crunchy. When you bite into it, it crunches in your mouth. What about the roll? The roll is good too. The, the roll is steamed, mm. just like all the other ones that we had though, thus far. But the hot dog makes it. The, the hot dog is almost remnants of what it's like when you were a child and you went to go get a hot dog. It's just so freaking good. Oh my God. Pops and crunches in your mouth. You gotta try this. Hot. That's a hot hot dog. What do you think? It's a good dog. The snap on that, it's still snapping. Yeah, it snaps all the way through. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's it? Mm-hmm. That's all you gotta say is just mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. We got confirmation through mm-hmm. The thing about this though too, is that you can see the casing. You feel it when you're eating it. The okay. goddamn crunch alone is worth stopping by and getting this hot dog. It's juicy. Every other hot dog's lacked thus far the damn crunch. This right here has it. The spot, the vibe inside, where it's just hanging out. Mm -hmm. Very nice. You can't. Hot dog, so good. All right, we got sauteed onions, mm -hmm. relish, mm -hmm. mustard. Mm -hmm. Boy, does it look good. Oh, shit. It's your Frank's Frank. Dude, look. Once Frank's again, the whole pickle days. slice. Have I been missing out on the whole pickle my entire <laughs> life? The whole pickle with the relish is the best combo in the world. Sauteed onions, I, I don't like sauteed onions on my hot dog. That is a key to pick that out. I, it, was, still, it was a menu item. Okay. Even with the salt, I sauteed onions it's it's phenomenal what do you think of the relish and the mustard look at those pickles on there man 
not even a pickle. What is that? Is it a pepper? It's a pepper. He just picked a pepper. Oh, there you go. Every time you go to bite it, it comes out. It starts coming apart. I'll tell you what, right now. Out of all the spots that we stop, this has the best overall hot dog. The, the crunch factor alone. The messy hot dog. You gotta like hold. You gotta hold the back and then bite it. You gotta do the back grab. Impressive. Keep in mind that we've been eating bam, 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 bam hot dogs. And once you get full, mm -hmm. your taste buds start to be like, I don't give a shit anymore. Like I'm already full. This made me hungry again. He enjoyed it so much, he stole my half. <laughs> the pepper, everything, phenomenal. He stole my hot dog, people. So, if you're in Clinton, design dog. You have treats for your friends. Design dog, I'm telling Design you right now. Dog. If you're in Clinton, New Jersey. Well, actually, if you're in Clinton, New Jersey, you probably already know this hot dog spot, it's that good. But if you're uh, trying to get around the area, or even just see this video you're close by, stop by Clinton. They, they got a nice little vibe, easy going. And they make one health. So, on the next. <laughs> All right, so we just got done with our final stop uh, at Destination Dogs. Um, the place is more mainstream. Uh, nice atmosphere area to sit down, have a beer. They they do serve alcohol there. Uh, due to COVID, they had an arcade in the back. It wasn't massive, but you know, if you're just trying to hang out or first date, you know, it, it's it's a cool area. The hot dogs, the most important part, the reason why we're here, is um, they to me they weren't they weren't that great. Uh, it was salty. I, I never had a salty hot dog. And uh, yeah, it's just it, it wasn't my cup of tea. The things I did like though is they had rolls that weren't like standard rolls. It was almost like a uh, like garlic bread like wrapped around the hot dog and it was absolutely phenomenal. And uh, their menu list and how many customizations that, that you can get with your hot dog. They had uh, alligator and shrimp sausage. I mean like their, their list goes on. So maybe what I had wasn't the best, but overall just the plain hot dog test for me was the worst today but when you actually had the full hot dog um with the uh, stuff on top of it to kind of must the saltiness of the hot dog i do think that it was a pretty good hot dog for me i like destination dog um they their buns were particular they it was a flat bottom almost had like a texas toast style um side they have a lot of unique toppings you know anywhere from your regular chili to frog gras and they, they pile them high and because of the way their buns are shaped it was you were able to eat it relatively neat for the amount of stuff that was on top so i enjoyed that i did enjoy the toppings a lot and the in the hot dog itself i enjoyed the flavor immensely it, it was a tad salty but there's so much bun compared to dog that it wasn't a big deal for me and also I had been eating hot dogs all day so my sodium intake was already kind of high so I think I was a little sensitive to salt time 
I liked it. I enjoyed it. I would go back again. It was it was probably I would rate it my favorite date place of all of the the hot dogs I had today. 